Hi, I'm Sean Johnson. I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at the new data center that the Division of Technology Services just constructed. about the, our division was everyone came together, worked tremendously as a team. A lot of people that don't normally work in this part of our technology uh, support came together, worked very hard, very long uh, day on actual uh, moving day, and we were able to bring things together in a, in a timely manner and with very little disruption to the campus. And this room is actually the data center itself. We have uh, 18 racks that actually house equipment as well as we have racks that have air conditioning in them and also backup power. So one thing that virtualizing a data center has is that you need a lot of storage. We, have, we work with a partner, their uh, name is NetApp, and this is storage which is uh, running most of the campus information. We actually have this main one here in the data center that does a lot of what ESIS is, so essentially uh, your transcripts are sitting on uh, these hard drives. So this is our uh, UPS. Just like you might have a UPS for your machines at home, which uh, allows your computer to run during a power outage, this is what we have as well. So we have the main unit itself, which is actually um, devices that convert battery power into your normal household current. And if we were to lose uh, our power, it would switch over to a battery bank. And we actually have these redundant in the facility as well. So not only do we lose power, but if we were to lose one of the UPSs, the other one would automatically take over and we would be up and going with no interruption. This system is actually called a hot IO containment. We're now standing behind the servers themselves with a roof on top here. All the hot air comes out of the back of the servers and then it's sucked into the air handler units. All right, Jason, are you? Appreciate it. You got to open your mouth. Okay. Back to focus on you. 